mentioned he, he, he after a few minutes he just realized he could just trust you on one so ran in there. Did you did you kind of know you could take her one on one? Um, yeah, I felt like I could. Uh, our coaches did a great job on scout this week, so I kind of knew all of her moves that she had coming at me, and I think I played her well. Did did you you had to make an effort to make her work defensively too? You had a, a great night offensively. Thank you. Um, yeah, part of the offensive game plan was to push it in at her because you know. She's a great player. If we can get her out and get her in foul trouble early, then that would be good for us. So. You guys have executed that uh, that end of the quarter play, that, that, that home run ball pr pretty well. You hit it to Sally, hit it to, to Michaela today. Why has that been so effective here? Um, I think everyone sees us in the front court and they think, oh, um, they're going to pass it into the front court, and we don't. <laughs> Carly fakes it. It, oh, I can't give away the secrets. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it's a great play, and it's worked pretty well for us. Kayla had a big surge uh, uh, there. I, I, what was it I like for you watching her just get hot there? In that, in that Man, I love watching this girl play. It's so fun to watch Michaela play. <laughs> She's always on balance when she catches the ball, which, you know, me, <laughs> as not a guard, it, I think is pretty hard to do. And she always just catches it on balance. Like, even the shot fake, one step dribble to the side, and she drains those three pointers. And it's awesome to watch, especially as a freshman. It's huge for our team. And Kayla, career high. high, high Tonight. It felt good. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it felt really good. <laughs> but, I mean, all the credit to the coaches and the teammates. I mean, they found me. Like, the end of the quarter, Allie found me on that play, and then Sal found me um, at the end of the third quarter, I think. And so. You had a couple of, like, four of those. Five. <laughs> five five for five now. Yeah, wow. <laughs> what is it about the, the end of the quarter? Is it it's like the pressure or what? I don't know. I think it, um, teams just worry so much about – Sal and Allie and our other players because they're so good that I think I find myself <laughs> open a lot because I mean they're really good. I would worry about them too. <laughs> they're worrying about you too. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes. Did, did you uh, did you notice them kind of closing on you defensively? Is that why you were able to get to the rim so well like you were today? Yeah, I think so. I mean they closed out pretty hard because I mean my first look is a shot. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think shot fake drive it worked because they were really worried about me shooting the three. So, yeah. For either of you, there's four straight wins. You know, you finished out a home stand, hadn't done, hadn't done that in a while. Playing well defensively, what's kind of working for either of you? Um, I think we're just doing a really good job on hustling up and down the court. This is the time of year that teams start to get tired, your legs start getting tired. It's hard to work, and I think we've done a really good job of playing through that. This game was more of a battle for you guys than the you know, previous three. Talk about, you know, kind of getting back into – that kind of game as opposed to, you know, where you got a larger margin? What's what's the mindset? Um, well, we've come back from, like, 20 points before. Like, in Cancun, we've done that. Um, so I think we've just gotten really good at not getting down. Like, our seniors are really good about leading. So, yeah, I think we just stay together and we just keep pushing through it, and it's been working. So. To kind of bounce a similar question uh, off of, like, Seth's, uh, Northern Arizona kind of came out of the gate really hot today, and you guys were kind of down there a little bit. Do you guys feel at all a little worried uh, after having such, you know, blowout victories in recent games? I don't think we're really worried because, like Mike just said, like we've been coming back from, you know, getting down 20 points and stuff like that, but we're, um, we've been having a lot of slow starts lately, so I think that's one thing we really need to focus on in these upcoming games is getting out, playing 40 minutes, hard, hustle. Yeah, definitely. Now, for either or one of you, it's obviously like the team morale has been r really good from what, what I, what I've seen. How do you guys kind of like keep it going, considering like you're very kind of like very calm and composed during each and every challenge you have been through this year? Um, I think it's just our leadership. We have five seniors, and that's a lot, and all of them are really good about picking us up and stuff. So I know as a freshman, I look up to all of them. So when we get down, they kind of pick us back up. That's fun. Can you talk a little bit about being like one of the senior leaders on this team, about the impact that some of the younger players uh, and the freshmen have come in, especially from uh, Michaela and Taylor? Yeah, that's huge. Um, you know, teams don't know how to guard them from the beginning of the year coming out. And so, I don't know, it's like we've, I haven't seen freshmen play like this ever. <laughs> so, it's really cool, like, when we got into the gym at the beginning of the year, just doing 
you know, up and down for like 10 minutes, just like open gym. It was really cool because you could tell that these girls were going to have a huge impact on the team even back then. And I was like, wow, these girls can <laughs> shoot. <laughs> All right. Uh, who you guys got in the Super Bowl? Kansas City. Cam Newton yeah. is my <laughs> husband. I got to go for him. All right. Anything else? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>